Hello, this is Danny D from Solitus. Sol Welcome to English as a Second Language. This is Danny D from Solicitous Comics. Um, I just got uh, messaged from someone on Gab, Raymond. This, this is for you and anybody else who uh, wants to know uh, why I personally prefer uh, Indiegogo to uh, Kickstarter. And again, this is my opinion. Uh, I'll tell you why I think one is better than the other. First off, Kickstarter, you have to be approved to have your campaign go through. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I think you should go. It's a free market. Uh, that's what I love about the United States. That's why I moved here. Uh, you either fail or you succeed. Uh, it's pretty much up to you. Um, Indiegogo has a much larger um, comic book and I'm assuming that's why you uh, contacted me because you saw the videos I post promoting comics um, they have a very large comic book following um, and I mean very large with some really wild people I would highly suggest that you start following some of these people on YouTube get on their live chats um, do a super chat cost you two bucks or however much you want to donate and they'll plug your your comic for you. you know, you know, you can just say, hey, Uncle E, I'm using Ethan as an example. You know, my comic book uh, up in the air is on Indiegogo. Could you please give it a shout out? And he'll do it. <clears throat> He's done it for quite a few of them. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the more you get out there, the better it'll be. Now, back to why I like Indiegogo. Indiegogo is in more countries. Um, Kickstarter is not in a lot of countries. Uh, I think Indiegogo is almost three times the countries that it is in, whereas Kickstarter is not. Uh, I don't like the fact that they censor you. Um, I don't like the fact that they promote more left-leaning, um, I should say far-left-leaning uh, projects as opposed to someone who's a centrist, as such as myself, or leaning to the right. I think that's wrong. Uh, you should let the market allow. That's why we have a free market in this country. Uh, let's see, other things that I could tell you about Indiegogo. Um, number one, like I said, I promote, I promote comics on Indiegogo on YouTube, uh, on uh, Gab, which is where you found me, or this person, I should say. You may not be from there. And I also promote it on Twitter. I put a video almost every day, other than the weekend, of new comics that are coming out. Uh, I try to describe them to people. Uh, I describe what their goal is, uh, where they're from sometimes. I show them the art. And I give them my humble opinion, which an opinion's like, well, you know. No, I'm not going to go there. Um, let's see, other reasons why I like Indiegogo. Go back to one of my older videos uh, where it talks about where it talks about um, Zach diversity in comics on Comedy Central, and they tried to uh, knock him down a bit. It didn't quite work out as they had planned. In fact, they actually pulled that video off of their website. That's how well it went for them. But if you go through that video, you will see a fraction of some of the comics that are on Indiegogo that have been very successful. Uh, I mean, some are more successful than others, but you also must realize um, Ethan's, I mean, he's he is a famous cartoonist. Uh, he's been doing this for 20 some odd years. So his comic should make more money, more people know him, but you've got a complete unknown like Nasser, who's an amazing writer. I really like his writing. I ordered his book. I can't wait to see it. Uh, he made 15,000. You know, that's not that much for your first comic, really, compared to some of the other ones, but that's a start. And that's only his first comic. So his next one should do a lot better. Keep that in mind. Like I said, <clears throat> um, do your own research. Um, I like indie. I like their their platform. It's, it's easy to do. Um, I've never seen them put anything fake up. I have seen fake ones. You can go back through my videos. Uh, I actually talk about that. They did a fake one of Cyberfrog when it was out. And they... Hush, cat. 
And they also did a fake one of, um, what was the other one that they did? There was another one. They did two of them. I don't know if, I think it might have been Flying Sparks. Not positive there. That was John Del Rose. Um, but they did two fake campaigns. And they left them up there, even after they were told that they were fake. So if you do one on Indiegogo, watermark it. Put on Indiegogo, right on the frame. Uh, I highly suggest that. That way nobody can take it and put it on Kickstarter and try to steal money from you. Which, like I said, they've already done twice that I know of. Never mind how many times they have done it. So I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't like that they didn't pull them down right away when they were informed that they were uh, incorrect, that they were frauds. Indiegogo, I've never seen that on there. Um, Indiegogo is also much more towards the arts, uh, more literature, movies. Uh, they do have games and that, but primarily the arts. So you're, if you're doing a comic, which I'm assuming you are, that's the place to do it. Um, to me. Kickstarter is all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, for some reason, the uh, home robot market is really big on Kickstarter. Don't invest in one of those, trust me. You could do much better with an Android and some 12-year-old kid up the road who understands programming in Python. Um, that's, that's about all I can think of. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can think of to say. Um, I hope this helps. Do your own research. Um, weigh the pros and cons there's lots of videos on youtube that's how i got to learn which one what does what uh listen to the live chats of some of the other people that have done them don't be afraid to ask questions um you know you can at post questions either on twitter if you follow the people on twitter uh, that have already done this uh, you can post chats and some of their uh, questions in some of their videos um comic skate is not not what people say it is um it's a very diverse community who are fed up with bad comics. Uh, it's a community that wants to promote good comics. That's why there's only one comic that was out there that I wouldn't promote, and that was against communism, and that was for communism, excuse me. And my, my heritage, my family, escaped from communism. So I'm not going to promote that. I know what that's like. Uh, my family has first-hand experience. But on a different note, by all means, um, research it yourself, brother. Anybody else who sees this, um, do your research. Do dil do due diligence. Blech. It's not good to say that with not enough coffee in your system. Um, research, watch videos, make up your own mind. This is just my opinion why I personally like uh, Indiegogo better. I think it's a better platform. Uh, when I go to do something, it will be on Indiegogo, um, although it will be more business oriented, not so much for the comic industry, but for something else. And I don't have much more to say. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, like I said, go visit my other video. You'll see how much money these people were making at that time. That's not what they finished at. All right, brother and sisters and my friends. This is Danny D for Solicitous Comics. Got that right this time. Awesome. And I will see you guys later.